Maybe. He, it was just like on your own or with your friends? Boyfriend. Okay. You seem like you're disappointed. Very. <laughs> yeah? How long did you know him? Who? Your boyfriend. Oh. Um, we've been together for like a year and some months. Maybe two years, December. Okay, so you guys are still together? Yeah. Why? Oh, oh. It's complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like it's complicated. It looks like you got it all figured out. It's complicated. Yeah? Yeah. Is he messing around? Or he's got you in a trick bag? I can't say messing around because he believes in having multiple lives. I'm just not proud of that. What is he, Mormon? He believes in... He's Muslim. The Most High. The Muslim? He's not Muslim. But he believes in like what? Yahweh B'Shem Mashiach, Yahweh B'Shem Oh, so he's uh, Jewish? Yeah, he's one of them um, Israelite. Uh, like what? Yahweh B'Shem Mashiach, Yahweh B'Shem Oh, so he's uh, Jewish? Yeah, he's one of them um, Israelite. Uh, the Muslim? He's not Muslim. But he believes in like what? Yahweh B'Shem Mashiach, Yahweh Oh, so he's uh, Jewish? Yeah, he's one of them um, Israelite. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but hey, he must be doing something right. Right? No, I ended things like, what, a couple days ago? A couple days ago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, what does he do for work? Okay. At first... He was selling. Now I think he's working at Wingstop. If he still works there, I don't know. Who are you living with then? I'm back at my mom's house right now. Alright. So, first and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim. Rukahakwadash, the city apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me the truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the temple of King David, scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. Hey, Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few sincere Akwaf. And Shalom to the 144,000. Now, this is going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power. Of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and uh, it's your brother Debar Kabash coming back at you from the GMS Shaw North Carolina camp. Eve is finished. You see that? She is. There's so much to say about this clip. You know, now I actually got this clip here, you know, from the brother uh, Yahweh Khanim. Right? I, I want to say he's out in Texas, I believe. You know, and uh, yeah, man. All right? I ran across this video and uh, I'm just doing a response. And uh, this Eve here. Right, she uh she knows the name of the Lord, man. Right now in the video, it sounded like she said that she was with the dude, and then you know she was with him for a year, you know, and then they, you know, then she broke it off with him, and you know, and you know, cause he had several wives and stuff like that, you know. And let me say something here, man. Right, you men, listen to me, you Israelite men. Right, you, I'm I'm talking about you, you newer Israelite men, you know all of that, man. Listen, man. Right, if you got a gal, right, and she out there stealing and all that shit, leave her ass. You see that? This gal here was charged with a a a, a grand, uh, what do you call it, a grand grand something, man. You know when you steal a lot of shit. You see, yeah, man. You see, and you brothers out there, you younger brothers, man, chill the hell out, man. You know, chill out. You know, just, just, just relax. Just stick to the scriptures, man. All right? Don't try to be over righteous and try to be too deep. If you got you a girl, that's fine. If you got you more than one woman, that's fine. But chill out, man. You know, don't be having your girl out here stealing and all that crazy shit. Now, you women, right? You know, cause you know it's, it's the spirit. You women that are out there. Right, you know the name of the Lord, and you doing shit like this here, stealing and all of that, man. Right, and and you got a man of the Lord, you leaving them. Right, the Lord's gonna, it, it, the Lord is handing down, it's more judgment. 
This woman here going to jail, man. She going to jail. All right, that's what we call uh, 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 all day long, man. Yeah. You see, so she knew the name of the Lord. And uh, let me see here. And I thought that was a trip, man. Let me see. You seem like you're disappointed. Let me get to the point. Why, oh, oh. That's complicated. Is he Mormon? He believes in... He's Muslim. The Most High. The Muslim? He's not Muslim. So she know the name of the Lord. So brothers and sisters, just because you know the name of the Lord, don't yeah, man. You got a lot of people. You got a lot of bug outs out there that know the name of the Lord too, man. All right, you got long haired dreadlock bug outs. All right, you got a uh, 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 bug outs that's that's still smoking Newports. Right, they know the name of the Lord. All right, you got bug outs out there that's still eating shrimp, pork, crabs, and lobsters. Bug the hell out. You see, you got bug outs out there that's stealing shit. I just had my phone stolen. Probably by Jake. A lot of bug, a lot of bug outs out there, man. All right? You got bug outs that know the name of the Lord and still celebrating the holidays. You see, you got bug outs out there that know the name of the Lord Right, but still call on the name of Jesus. A lot of people are, uh, yeah, man. People are through. You got bug outs out there that know the name of the Lord and still robbing people, man. Come on, man. But, you know, going back to, you know, you women that are out there, man. Right, because this was the spirit here, man. Just because you know the name of the Lord don't mean shit. You ain't, out ain't, ain't out here supposed to be stealing and none of that shit, man. Out here being a thought and a hoe, but you know the name of the Lord. You're a bug out, man. And you're gonna be, and you're gonna be destroyed by the Lord, man. By that, man. So let you know, I, I only had one precept, but yeah, I, I thought that was a trip. <sighs> This how you women should be conducting yourselves, man. The hell is this? Blue letter Bible be tripping sometimes. Anyway, Proverbs, right? The 31st chapter. And I'm going to start at the top. Right? It says the, uh, the, uh, the sayings of King Lamel. Right? The sayings of King Lamel. Right? In the NLT version. Contains the message which his mother taught him. You see that? So, you know, this was a message that his mom was was uh, 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 telling him, man. And let's let's find out what his own mom was telling him. A king. Verse two. It says, "Oh my son, oh my of uh, uh, son of my womb, oh son of my vows, do not waste your strength on women." Or on those who ruin kings, right? And I'm just gonna jump down here a little bit. You know, you should, you women out there should read this uh, chapter, man. But she out here. Matter of fact, let me let me see here, man. How much did she steal? I, I think it was like fifteen thousand dollars, yo, of cold hard cash. Let me see here. I used to pay $178 a month for car insurance. Now check Darn, out. man. Esau and his stupid ass commercials. Can't do, can't do no videos no more, man. Because Esau always putting damn uh, commercials in the damn videos. Let me see if... Look how much money that she had on her, man. This broad is through. Let me see here. Look at all that. Yeah, four, yeah, four, th almost five thousand dollars on her, man. You women out there uh, 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 that's stealing, right? May the Lord, right, uh, uh, make your lights go out, man. Anyway, Proverbs thirty-one. I'm gonna start at verse ten, and in subtitle it reads, "A wife of noble character." You see that? I'm reading in, in the NLT version. So you women are supposed to be conducting yourselves. 
this way, according to the scriptures. Verse 10, who can find a virtuous and capable wife? She is more precious than rubies. That's right, man. A lot of you women out there, you guys are already defiled, man. All right, a lot of you women, right, you guys, you know, then did your thing, got kids and all of that shit. Right, so, you know, it, it's hard to find a virtuous woman out here. Because you women, right, weren't taught the virtues by your parents. You see? So anyway, let's keep going here. Verse 11, the NLT version. It says, her husband can trust her and she will greatly enrich his life. Now, you ain't supposed to enrich no man life out here stealing, man. And if you're out here being a nasty ass hoe, right, and, you know, making money that way, then, you know, yeah, that's even worse. Scriptures say, thou shalt not steal. And scriptures also say, uh, thou shalt not be a harlot or the daughters of uh, Zion, man, roughly paraphrasing. Uh, anyway, uh, verse 12, it says, she brings him good, not harm, all the days of his life. You see that? So you women out there, you got you chill out, man. Chill, learn how to chill out. Try not to be too harsh, but you women got to learn how to just chill out. Anyway, verse 12. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She will. Fi uh, fi she finds wool and flax and busily spins it. That's right. You, you know, and when you go into wool and flax, it just means like, you know, uh, linen and, you know, yeah, man. You women, and most of you women can't sew a damn thing. Now, there are a few of you women that can do that. But most of them, hell no. All right? Again, you know, these women out here, all they want to do is go to damn, uh, 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 what's the name of that damn place? Uh, help me out. Uh, I don't know, City Trends or Bogo or I don't know whatever the hell, you know, you call them damn places, man. You know, just bug out. Chill out. First, uh, verse 14. Proverbs 31, 14, NLT. She is like a merchant ship bringing her food from afar. And you know what? A lot of these women today are lazy, man. Lazy. They got Uber Eats and damn DoorDash on speed dial, man. Right? I want some dinners or some, or some crazy shit. You know? Yeah, man. Going off. It's all kind of videos of women. You know, talking about, you know, don't, don't take me to IHOP, take me to uh, Loose Cliff. Like, man, take your, you know what, take your ass, but, you know, Eve is finished. You understand me? So you women out there, you guys better learn how to conduct yourselves in a better manner, man. That's the point of the message. Because, again, this woman here, she know the name of the Lord. And look where she at. Her ass is locked up some damn where, you see? She ain't, I'm getting, she's So, not if you're feeling really beautiful today and you want to make this video your phone's wallpaper, all you got to do is upload. Why'd you leave? Isn't that one closer to your house? Okay. In Miami. In Miami? You disappeared. Let me see. What is he, Mormon? He believes in. But he's Muslim. The most high. The Muslim? He's not Muslim. You women out there and you meet men and they teach you the name of the Lord, right? And, and all of that, you know, and you want to lead that man, then, you know, you find yourself in a situation like this here, man. Bugged out. She probably started stealing all that damn money because she was bugged out. You know? Ain't no telling what was going on here, but we do know one goddamn gonna thing. All right, her ass is locked up some damn weird. So you women out there, all right? Let this be a lesson. You know, nothing is it's not nothing deep. You women should read the Proverbs, the thirty-first uh, chapter, Proverbs thirty-one, and the NLT uh, verse um, verse uh, fifteen. Read. She gets up before dawn. And you know what? These women they don't get up before dawn, man. A lot of them don't. You know, they get up about 10, 11 o'clock. Right, and, and throw on all that damn makeup and umbrellas and shit, man. Right, and go out here and, and, and uh, yeah. Anyway, 
Proverbs 31 15 she gets up before dawn to prepare breakfast for her for her household right you can kiss that goodbye um, and plans the day's work for her servant girl these nah, no <laughs> not in these times verse 16 she goes uh, to inspect a field and buys it uh, with her earnings she plants a vineyard and these women, they don't do none of that, man. None of that. But you, it's how you women are supposed to be conducting yourselves, man. Teach your, you know, go out here and learn how to plant some shit and grow some shit. Right? Learn how to grow something. Learn how to cook a decent meal. Not something that you like, but something that a man likes. Right? Learn how to uh, 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 cover your damn body, man. It gives a man a chance to guess what, or, or figure out what's going on underneath versus you showing it already, man. You women are uh, going to talk about modest apparel and all of that, but, you know, Eve is, you know, I just wanted to respond to this here because, you know, a lot of people, they know the name of the Lord. You know, but just because you know them names, man, just because you know them names don't mean nothing. It's not just about knowing the names. Scripture talk about becoming a new creature and you stealing $15,000 in cash? Hell no. Brothers, be careful, man. Be careful. And this go for you, you younger bug outs out there, man. Right? When you come into this thing, you're supposed to become a new person. Not, not no crazy ass. And you women, that goes for you women too. You know, so there's much I can say about this, but you know, I'm just, you know, for time's sake, I'm going to leave it right there, man. Right? Just because, you know, a lot of bug outs, a, a bug out, a lot of bug outs know the name of the Lord, man. So next time I say, Shalom. Like what? Oh, so he's uh, Jewish. Yeah, he's one of them, um, Israelite. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but hey, he must be doing something right.